Hello everyone, in this video we will guide you how you can use our production module and how you can create a production process and can generate a finished good. So first of all you need to go in production module on your left hand side you will give, uh, you can see production module option please click it. Now once you will come in production module you need to go in production control center. So here three functions are available all production process work order and subcontract. Work order tab will be used in case you are creating a process, production process against any order. If you want to directly go ahead and create a production process and accordingly do the manufacturing, you can come in all production process and on your right hand side, you will get an option of create new. Click on create new. Now here, I need to go ahead and select an item. So I will select one of my item for which the bill of material is created. Do remember that in order to go ahead and create a production process, bill of material is mandatory. If bill of material will not be available, it will give you an error that you need to create a BOM then after the production process will get started. So here my bill of material is selected. If you do have multiple bill of material, you can very well go ahead and uh, click on this drop down and can select any another bill of material for production. Now. I will define the quantity that is for 10 and accordingly I will go ahead and create the process. So click on submit. My production process is created. This is my uh, this is my planned production process which is currently just being planned and accordingly I am going ahead and defining all the details like you can very well go ahead and change the store uh, in the planned stage accordingly you can go ahead and edit the raw material and uh, you can edit the cost allocation so there are multiple changes which you can do so uh, now in this production process i don't want to make any changes and i want to push this production process on the production floor to get started how i can do it click on your right hand side you will see an option of publish please click on publish please check the status of production process will get changed from plan to pending after coming in pending state you need to go ahead and issue raw material in your production process. So, uh, so you will get issue option just in the raw material segment. Also, you can go ahead and click on start process and accordingly can issue the raw material. Let me show you. So I clicked on start process. It will ask for the confirmation. And after that, here is the page where you will go ahead and issue the raw material. So uh, you can manually uh, fill the entire quantity or uh, you can just click on this arrow and accordingly the quantity required will be filled. Now, going below, uh, you can go ahead and click on save changes. Now, please check. Once I clicked on save changes, the raw material are issued in my production process. What is next? The next is that I will go ahead and mark my routing. So, how I can go ahead and mark my routing? This is one of my routing which is fitting uh, is attached to my production process. Click on mark routing done. And accordingly, uh, just put a comment done and mark done. Click on save. Now, after doing the routing, are there any scrap which are uh, mentioned? So, as you can see that I have already defined a scrap which is an estimated quantity of uh, 20 kg. So, in this particular production process, 20 kg is scrap defined. I will just click mark scrap generated and update this scrap. Now, one more thing which you can do that you can take action on the entire production process in or on a single screen also. You can click on take action and accordingly you will get a single screen there. You can go ahead and update each and every detail. Uh, you can very well go ahead and just issue the raw material. You can mark scrap. You can mark routing. And here is the estimated amount of my labor charges. So, I will just quickly go ahead and update it. So, you can do it on a single screen as well you can do it in an individual uh, function as well click on save now here my raw material is consumed and accordingly each and every activity is done now now comes the next part where my finished good is produced how i can go ahead and mark my finished good produced so here you will get an option of mark fg produced click on this and you need to update how much quantity fg have been updated so i will click on this arrow or i can uh, manually go ahead and type the quantity as well so click on save changes and fg is added now in order to add that fg in your inventory you need to do the fg testing how you can do fg testing here you will get more fg actions click on this and you will get fg testing once you will click on fg testing a window will appear where it will ask that how much is tested how much is passed how much is in repair you can very well go ahead and uh, just enter the value manually that how much is in repair and again uh, market repair and retest it but here all my fg is approved so what i will do i will click on 
mark tested so once i clicked on mark tested the inventory have been updated now few features are there which you can use you can go ahead and assign a barcode on the raw material and finished good and scrap as well as you can see from here add option you can add barcode individually you can go ahead and check the process cost you can take a print in expanded and condensed view process log option is there which will assist you in checking what are the all activities which are taken on a production process i hope the entire activity or this entire process will assist you in handling your production now once my fg is created what i will do i will go ahead and complete this process click on complete now uh, it will uh, give you a notification that the 10 numbers have been completed click on complete after completing my production process is completed you can go ahead and check the process cost and accordingly you will get the fg costing and what are the production cost and uh, in how much quantity and at what price FG is produced. I hope this video will be helpful to you. Have a good day ahead.